Hi, my name is Danique. I have a question about homeschooling. I'm homeschooling because I'm kind of a out of the box, don't like the public school system, uh, don't even like school system the way it's actually set up. So I was wondering if you had any suggestions on alternatives to colleges, as I'm not crazy about sending my girl off to um, maybe the public school setting after we've homeschooled through 12th grade. So I would tell you, first of all, I did a podcast with Jonathan Brush of Unbound. It's project-based education with robust Christian leadership training. And so you can go back and listen to our podcast, but he gives you a lot of different alternatives to college. Um, and he he has programs for ninth through 11th grade, 12th grade, post-high school. And I think that that would really be an encouragement to you. You know, for our family, by the time my girls were 14, 15, I could tell based on their interests and their passions that they were not likely to pursue a career path that would require like higher level math or science. And at that time, they didn't, neither of them had an interest in going to college. But it was important to me and to my husband that we prepared them so they could go to college if they decided to. So things like, you know, research, study skills, um, being a good writer, uh, knowing how to learn, you know, things that would prepare you to be able to take college classes if they wanted to. Um, and so, you know, there were some things like I let them quit after Algebra 1. I, our, our youngest actually decided she wanted to learn geometry after that. But so we we kind of made decisions based on what we could see in their teen years while also leaving the door open for them to go to college. You know, a lot of for us was leaving time in their schedule for them to pursue their interests, to do internships, to have jobs, to volunteer and things like that. And so there's a lot of ways to get really good life experience that don't necessarily involve a college. You know, with our children, and I thought it was interesting in the question, she said, I'm not crazy about sending my girl off to the public school setting. And so I do want to say there are some Christian colleges out there that would not simulate the public school setting. So, you know, the price of college now is so out of reach for so many people and student debt has become such an issue that if your kids don't know uh, what they want to do, a lot of students now are taking gap years um, and they're particularly doing that with Christian organizations. And so that's a great way for a child to figure out what they want to do with their lives post high school, they have that year where if they've won scholarships, most college was, will defer those scholarships that first year, and then they can pick them up the year after that. And then there are other kids who start their own businesses and do their own thing and never look back.